but I think that mental toughness and uh, I don't want to say disrespect, but it's not like, you know, Jokic is going to come to the NBA and say, okay, it's LeBron, I'm going to move back. His mental state is probably like, I don't care, I'm going to play my game and I'm going to destroy him, you know? When I first started my career in Europe, I would always hear that Serbian coaches are the craziest because you just don't want a Serbian coach. They're going to make you run and they're very hard, but they're also very smart. And, uh, but they're like the toughest coaches. And then when you look at players, I mean, they're, they're just so good. You see Jokic and Misic, and they're so talented. And the whole country is maybe the size of LA, but they put out so much talent and they're one of the best teams in the world. What do you think makes Serbian basketball players so good? I don't know, there is obviously a talent in every sport. Serbia is good in sports, but, uh, but I think that uh, mental toughness and uh, I don't want to sound, make, make us sound and look bad, but like we don't have that much respect for anything out there in the world, you know, which led us into the wars and everything <laughs> to the history, you know, but I think that mental toughness and uh, I don't want to say disrespect, but it's not like, you know, Jokic is going to come to the NBA and say, okay, it's LeBron, I'm going to move back. His mental state is probably like, I don't care, I'm going to play my game and I'm going to destroy him, you know. And that's, I think, that's the difference between uh, us and any other nation, because mentally we are like that. In sport is good, but in everything else it's bad for us, because we think we are the thing in the world, and we are actually small and crazy, and uh, it's not working that way, you know? But in sports that make us good. Because we, we don't show, the, we respect everybody, but it's not like we're gonna move. Like, for example, you see uh, Doncic. He's, he came 19 years old and he's like, I'm gonna dominate. I was shocked. Because like, like we talked about, I played with LeBron at that age. And I, I thought there is nobody can compare to him because that young to play that tough and score 20, 25, 30 at every team at every night, and then somebody from here comes and show up and, and, do, and does the same statistics. It's crazy. And like I, think, I think that mental state is different than everybody else. And also we have good coaches and basketball schools are good, you know. And, uh, but I think there is a, uh, now is a period where, where uh, coaches have to adjust a little bit to the modern game, you know. They still stick to that old school, you know hard practice, three, three hours a day, uh, showing everybody that they are good in tactics. And uh, I think nowadays that's limiting the players. Like now, you, the, the difference between good and uh, average player is because the good one is uh, free to play, you know, and show all his talent. Yeah, I'll never forget when, uh, when I was in Serbia and I was, we were working out with this, with this Serbian coach, like at the end of each practice, we used to have to make 10 threes in a row, and 10 threes is easy. Like, I can shoot the ball, I'm fine. But I'll never forget, like, one day he came in and he told us to make 10 pick and roll three pointers in a row. And I'm looking around like, like, what? But the other Serbian players, they, they didn't complain. They just got up and did it. And, you know, and so I just got up and did it. But I, I feel like Serbian basketball players just have, like, a different focus and a discipline, like, they're just gonna do the work that's ahead of them and just not complain. That's the good part of our coaches because like they make you be disciplined and they, they, they make you uh, listen to them what they tell you what to do, you know? And uh, when you came to, when you come to the NBA from here, you already have that uh, culture that like uh, nobody in NBA from, from the coaches needs to tell you how to act to be a basketball player. You are already ready being professional, you know, it's not like, okay, I'm going wild now, I'm crazy, I'm, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's just different, but the way they playing, it's, I think it's that mindset. It's not like we don't respect anybody, but we don't care. It's not like we're going to move back 
So that interview was a piece of a longer interview that I did with Sasha Pavlovich for my documentary. I'll leave a link to the extended interview right here, but I thought the topic itself was interesting, even though it had nothing to do with my documentary. I wanted to ask because I was always curious as to why Serbia is such a small country yet they compete in the World Cup or whether it be the Olympics and you know they have such great results. I always felt like Serbian basketball players played with a toughness and a uh, almost an I don't care type of attitude that you know I just didn't see around other parts of Europe. Even when you look at Jokic in that game he played against Giannis in Serbia, uh, I'll, I'll do a video breaking this game down a little more in depth, but but you just see how physical he played, and especially in the moments when he was being guarded by Giannis or he was guarding Giannis, and you could tell that. It didn't matter if it was Giannis or if it was anybody else on that team, he was going to play one way. On a personal level, I've had the opportunity to live in 10 different countries and meet a lot of people, experience a lot of different cultures. And my experience in Serbia is the, from friends and people that I've met, the people I think as a whole uh, have been extremely smart, um, and they have a great work ethic. So when I think when you put that in the scope of building a basketball player, I think there's a cognitive, there's a cognitive element to developing into a good basketball player. And I think when you look at Serbia and you have, you know, a group of people that are intelligent, you have a group of people that are obviously are the fifth tallest in the world, and then you, you add on that work ethic, I think you're able to develop a good crop of basketball players and athletes in a small area. So I think that all of those things within the Serbian culture, at least from my point of view, has a lot to do with why Serbia is able to be so small, yet create you know this immense amount of talent. Um, and from just my experiences, I just haven't seen that in you know other countries as much uh, maybe it's due to me not having enough experiences in other countries or not but I mean who knows but I, I think that this story itself is just extremely interesting to me it's something that's always been in my mind since I started playing uh, overseas as I mentioned and uh, yeah I think it, it, it needs to be told and recognized in the uh, in, in the basketball world I'm very curious to hear all of your insight as to why y'all think Serbian basketball players are so good at basketball and why they've been able to have so much success, uh, you know, I guess throughout the course of history. So uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll be reading all of the responses and, uh, you know, this is something that, you know, I want to try to continue to dig deep and, you know, learn more about, you know, basketball in Europe as a whole. Um, it's been a lot of Serbian content, you know, a lot of that is because of the Partizan Real Madrid series and, uh, you know, I just have ties and, you know, a lot of friends from that area. So, um, please let me know what you guys think. Please uh, continue to support my, my page and while I got you here, I'd like to say thank you for uh, watching my content and, uh, you know, I hope to keep producing you know, uh, more content of interest for, for all of you guys, but please continue to support the page, like, subscribe, let me know what you guys may want to see. I know the season is ending and, uh, you know, maybe we can find some, uh, some other content that'll be, uh, appetizing for everybody. But, uh, again, thank you and, uh, stay tuned for what's to come.